Okay, this is a quick tutorial to show you how I made the cat image for the cat animation um, in Photoshop. So I'm going to open up the three pictures of the cat that I used, cat 1, cat 2 and cat 3, because I used different parts of each image to create the cat. So starting with this picture here, I'm going to cut out the, um, the head of the cat. So using the um, lasso tool, I'm just going to very quickly cut around the cat's head. I'm doing this incredibly quickly, but you can spend a bit more time doing it yourself. And once I've selected that, I'm going to choose Edit and Copy, and then Edit and Paste. And what happens there is, over on the right hand side, we now have two layers. The background layer and the layer which contains just the head. So I'm going to rename that to Head. Okay. Now, I'm going to do a similar thing with one of the other pictures here. I'm going to just zoom in a little bit here on the uh, paw of this cat in this picture. And again, using the lasso tool, I'm just going to draw around the front paw like so. And I'm going to copy that. But this time I'm going to paste it back into this picture here. So if I do edit and paste, this will create a further layer that contains the paw. So I'll call this paw 1. And I'm going to get the paw from this picture. Okay, so the third picture. And again, just using the lasso tool to cut out the paw. Maybe like so. Copy that back to the original picture and paste. So you see I'm starting to build up this uh, character bit by bit. Now, um, the clever bit for the um, the cat's body was actually using the body from this background layer. So with the background layer selected, I'm going to um, use the lasso tool again to cut out the body. So it's going to be a roughly an oval shape based on this part of the cat. So I will edit, copy, edit, paste. That creates a new layer which I will rename to body. Okay, and I'll hide the background layer. So this is the part of the cat I'm going to use as the body. Now I've got to get rid of all this extra detail. So what I'll do is use the clone stamp tool which is over here and then I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard and click on a patch of fur. Um, for instance here. So holding down ALT and left clicking and that will pick up a patch of fur and then when I paint it will paint over the details with that patch of fur like so. So I'm just going to ALT and click a few more times and kind of paint out this detail like so. Now I'm doing this very quickly you can spend much more time doing this and just get it a bit, um, bit better than, than mine. Okay, and I'm go also going to use the Edit, Transform and Warp tool to reshape this. Okay, so by clicking and dragging on these uh, areas here, I can make it into a more of an, an oval shape. And then I press Return to set that. Okay, so using the Transform controls, I can spin this round. Can I get that into position? I'll switch the head layer on. I can make this... Um, visible and then place the head in position again using these transform tools just to get that into the right place and do the same with the um, the two paws make them visible and I can move them around I may need to resize them so I'm holding down shift and using these transform tools I can resize the different parts of the cat so there we go I can place this into position here and press return to set that and then could do the same sort of thing here. So that's the technique for building um, the, the cat image that we're using in the animation tutorial. You can spend a lot more time on it and make it a bit more accurate um, than, than I have here.